Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. So I've got a series playlist which I'll be uh, putting up um, soon. It'll be in the uh, description down below. And I'll also have it as a pinned comment um, with the playlist of uh, anime exclusive cards which have been featured within Yu-Gi-Oh 7s. Um, I will put those in order as well um, so you can have a look if you, if you like to. Um, make sure to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh content, but we'll go into this right now. So the first card is Royal Demons Funky. It's a level 6 light attribute uh, fiend type effect monster. It has 0 attack and 0 defense. During the turn this card is normal summoned, you can activate by sending the top card of your deck to the graveyard. The effect is choose two face-up attack position monsters your opponent controls. Until the end of the turn, the original attack of one of the monsters becomes equal to the total original attack of both monsters while the other's original attack becomes zero. Uh, this card is not really that useful. It can only be used when it's normal summon, so that means you have to sacrifice something to bring it out, being a level six. Um, and it does cut one of them to zero, but, you know, it's just, it, I, you're basically making one of them massively powerful and one non-existent, that's what you're trading off for. If your opponent has any way of redirecting any of your attacks, you're doomed because you're going to suffer double, basically almost double the damage uh, from do actually doing that. Uh, the next card is Thunder Beetle Snare. It's level one light thunder type uh, normal monster. It's got 500 attack and 500 defense. You, uh, I'm guessing that's the purple one on the left. Uh, you've got then the Thunder Beetle Bastru, which is a level 3 light thunder type normal monster. Again, uh, this one has 800 attack and 800 defense. I'm guessing that's the middle one. And the one on the right is Thunder Beetle Hi Hat, which is a level 2 light normal monster. Again, with a 600 attack and 600 defense. Uh, it does mention here as part of the notes that these cards are named after the snare drum, the bass drum, and the hi hat which are all parts of a drum kit. The next card is Thunder Beetle Gift. It's a normal spell card. The requirement is activate if you control a face-up monster. It must be a level four or lower and thunder type. Inflict 500 damage times the number of face-up monsters that are thunder type you control. During this turn, your monsters cannot attack. Considering how weak these monsters are, um, you know, if you've got three of them on the field, you've got 1,500 points of damage. I, I'd, I'd rather take that than, you know, do nothing at all. I mean, those monsters aren't going to do anything unless you can actually get rid of any decent threats. Uh, Storm Summoning Thunder Beetles is the next normal spell card. Uh, the requirement is activate if you control three face-up monsters. They must be level four or lower thunder types. And the effect is to destroy all monsters on the opponent's field. If a monster is destroyed by this effect, you cannot normal or special summon monsters until the end of the turn. Okay, so I consider this to be a little bit like it's 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 like Raigeki, but I think of it more like Raigeki pot because you need certain requirements to meet before you can do that. You can't just fire this card off unless you can guarantee that you've got you know, the requirements set up. The other thing as well is it doesn't allow you to actually go into anything else. No more normal summoning or special summoning uh, for the rest of the turn. So um, unless you can guarantee the damage and to beat your opponent, it can be a particularly a much of a waste of time. Um, and the final card is Thunder Beetle Gain. It's a normal trap card. The requirement is if you control a face-up monster, it must be a thunder type. When your opponent's monster that has more attack than your life points declares an attack, you can activate um, the effect is choose one monster your opponent controls. You gain life points equal to the attack of that monster. It saves you a, a turn from that attack. And assuming you've only got, uh, your opponent is only going to attack you with one card, um, you know, you've, you've saved yourself. Um, for me, it's like Nutrient Z, but worse. Uh, Nutrient Z uh, basically was a trap card which was used in um, the original series. I think it was used in the Battle City tournament. Um, Joey definitely used it against Kaiba when he was trying to battle for third position um, in the finals tournament. 
um, and he used it in response to a direct attack from a blue eyes white dragon. In which case, um, if if you take you're going to take two thousand or more points of damage, your your life points are padded up by four thousand, and that's what helped um, keep uh, Joey in that duel. It's similar, but this is much worse than that card. So, what do you think of these cards in general? I like that they're introducing these unusual types of beetle cards. I think they're a bit different, a bit unique. It's a shame that they're all normal monsters mostly, and it's a shame about the support currently. Perhaps we might be getting some more in the future, who knows? But here's hoping. Whatever you think, leave your comments down below. Um, did you like these cards or not? Um, make sure to like the video if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Thank you.